Hey guys, what's going on? My name is Daniel Cross, and today I want to talk to you guys about Call of Duty Black Ops 3 and some information that T. Martin just dropped recently. Now, this is coming from another YouTuber. I will have a link to his video below. Um, if I remember correctly, he speaks Spanish, and unfortunately, I don't speak Spanish, so I don't really understand the gist of what's going on in the video. However, T. Martin just uploaded one, and he kind of explained what it was. Um, this younger YouTuber, he made a video, and he called Activision support recently. He explained that he unlocked the new 10th specialist in a supply drop, and he got it early. Now, this is something that's very funny. The Activision support specialist was asking questions along the way about, like, how did you do this? And then once he stated that he got it out of a supply drop, the support specialist supposedly confirmed that that's how you unlock it. Now, he kind of, like, basically baited him into giving him information at this point. And I'm not 100% sure if that support specialist will have that type of information. It may or may not be possible. Um, it could all be speculation right there on that I, on that end. You know, some employee, low-level employee, just made a mistake, and he agreed, and now we're going off that information. But if this is true, this has got to be the worst way to go about doing any DLC in the Call of Duty series at all. Like, I've made videos, I've talked about the supply drops, I've ranted on them, I've told you guys the odds, the odds are terrible. It's about 1% chance every case that you open to get at least one melee weapon or a weapon. Um, not only that, the weapons are completely garbage. Uh, they're not strong, they're not pay to win, they're nothing like that. We don't want pay to win, but I'm just saying that the guns you get out of the supply drop are worthless. They're worse than the guns you already have for free. I'm not kidding. And the other thing I tweeted out the other day, which was a complete mindfuck to me, and I didn't really understand this at all. I basically said, why do you guys want to spend money to get a melee weapon that you're never really going to use? Because I can't tell you guys how many times in Call of Duty I was like, man, I sure wish I had this baseball bat in my gunfight. Like, there's no way in hell that I've ever, ever had that cross my mind. Now, they are fun to stream, they are fun to upload, they are fun to unbox, they are enjoyable in that sense as a content creator myself. But... The weapons that we're getting with supply drops are a completely different story. I don't really want to talk about that. What I want to talk about is how this is going to work if this is the new tent specialist. There's a lot of information about Blackjack being leaked. He supposedly can steal abilities from other players. Um, I'm not 100% sure the mechanics on that. There's some game code in there that basically says that. And it's very, very interesting to know that if this does happen, and if this does come into the supply drop system and it's behind a paywall, what does that take away from other players? But not only that, we could say, hey, look, this specialist sucks, he's garbage, he's not that strong, or whatever. I don't care how you want to argue it, that's not the point. The point really is what this sets up for the future, because if they see a lot of sales, they see a lot of generated items being sold, purchases, they're going to continue to do this into the future games with Call of Duty 2016, supposedly some space warfare sci-fi game, which is something that no one wanted in the first place. We've all been, you know, ranting and raving, hey, we're tired of futuristic Call of Duties. We hate the jetpacks. We don't want this in the game. So it seems like to me the parent company's a little, little kind of off-center here. They don't know exactly what's going on, but this is re the reality of the situation. Supply drops are selling like hotcakes because you have a little 12 year old kid named Jimmy and he's whining to his mom going Hey mom buy me the fucking supply drop. Let me buy the supply drop So she finally gives in like god damn it Jimmy and like lets her fucking buy him And then the kid spends a ton of money goes through him and then you have millions and millions and millions of other players that are doing this um, It's a little small sighted of us to kind of think that you know the reddit forums as well as some of the youtubers even speaking out to the call of duty can make such a big impact on something like this, a purchasable DLC pack. It just doesn't make sense because if you have 20, 30 million units sold and you're posting to a website that only has maybe, you know, 20 some thousand viewers, subscribers, whatever, and then you have T Martin with 8 million subs, some of those, which are probably not even active, only maybe half a million to 1.5 million even seeing that video, then they just casually play Call of Duty. They're not really gonna care. You're, there's no way you can tell the entire audience to stop buying these things. You have to think about the guy that comes home from work at 5 p.m. and he's like, man, I really wanna get that new HG40. And he doesn't really know much about it. He doesn't know the stats are bad. He's not informed. He doesn't follow slide, uh, websites. He doesn't follow forums. He just has no idea other than he plays the game in his basement. And then he goes to sleep and goes to work in the next morning. That's the reality of 99% of these people who are spending the money on these supply drops. So there's no effective way to get them to stop spending money. Which means Activision is going to go, hey guys, we're making so much money right now. We love it. We got to have more supply drops because it's the best thing ever. So in the future, 
I really don't know what to expect with the Call of Duty series at this point. Um, I honestly think it's going to shift into basically a mobile game category. Would you like to pay X for more ammo? Would you like to pay X for whatever? And it's really, really discouraging to me to see how quickly this can change and how bad it can make this as far as restricting content to a consumer. Not only that, consumers that have played the game for years. I started on Call of Duty 4, 2007. It's 2016 right now. So I have played this series for almost 10 years of my life, and it's just absolutely horrible to see the paywall and the greed that Activision has that is promoting its game. I understand generating sales. I understand making money. I understand you guys being listed as a company on the stock market that has to make its shareholders happy. I get that. But at the end of the day, you need to provide content for the people that built the game and continue to buy the game every year instead of putting it behind a paywall just so you guys can put more money in your pockets. Anyway, guys, this is Cross, and I'll see you soon with another video.